when we're watching, we feel like, well, he, he is giving you attention. Are you asking for too much attention? Do you need to be constantly validated? Mm -hmm. But there is that other side to it. And that's what I wanted to ask you, where it's, yeah. were you guys starting to drift apart? Were you feeling some, I guess, uncertainty about where the relationship was headed? Because it is a fast process. Yeah, totally. Um, I think that he was telling me everything he wanted me to hear to make me feel better, but his actions were speaking completely different. So what you guys don't see is that we only film in the afternoon. So we have the whole day of where I'm reading your body language. I'm seeing how you're talking to me. I'm getting, I'm still, that was also day two of living together. So I'm trying to like show you in a short amount of time, the kind of woman I could be, the kind of wife I could be to you. And mm -hmm. in response to me doing these nice things for you, doing your laundry, you know, making you lunch, making you dinner, going grocery shopping for us. And that response was, I was clingy. So that was, that's why my reaction was so intense is because I didn't expect that because I'm over here, like mm -hmm. fighting for my life and trying to show you like in a very short amount of time, the kind of wife I could be to you. Got it. Yeah. Cause at one point I was like, the man just bit his lip. Like maybe he just wants some space. <laughs> we see that maybe you're starting to feel a little bit smothered. Was it getting too much? And what was the the too much for you? Yeah, I mean, when, when you think about it, we're, we're spending so much time together. We go into the experiment, get our phones taken away. Everything's intensified when you get back. You know, you start back working, everybody's on hitting your line. Um, I mean, I had friends I wanted to go hang out with. You know, half of those friends I wanted to introduce her to. And so it was, it was a really busy time. And I, I felt that she was, wanting to spend a little too much time with me. And I think what I needed at that point was for her to give me a little bit of space and give me some time to miss her because I did love her. And I just felt that we were, you know, I was being a little bit smothered and, uh, you know, ultimately we were still learning each other and mm -hmm. she was right by my side every day, all day. And, you know, I was at work from home. So, I mean, I was with her a lot when we got back home. What can you tell me about just from the experience transitioning from the pods? You don't know this person. You only hear their voice. You go to the DR. You're in paradise, right? You're riding the ATVs and you're doing these fun activities and then coming back to real life in North Carolina. I think like the big thing for me is I was so eager for the next step. And, you know, when we're in the Dominican, I was so ready to get home. I was so ready to go show off to my friends and family. When we got when we got back, we're, you know, we're we got all these different distractions, getting back to work. And, um, you know, I, I didn't think about it too much. I was on, I, if I could have done something differently, I think I would have slowed down and just enjoyed my time with her. Um, I think my, my favorite part about Chelsea is, and I don't think it's the, it's, it's being shown in the best light is how well we got along actually, because when it came down to pillow talk, us having, you know, intimate conversations, getting intimate with each other late at night. I mean, that's, that's where the love was really forming. It wasn't that there wasn't any other opportunities, but it's the light is being shown on all of the, the negative.